Live from the WesternUnion.com VIP Lounge. All right, what's going on? We're live from the WesternUnion.com VIP Lounge. Uh, I'm Julian Lee with Wild 94.9. Very honored to have a, uh, man, vlogger, actor, singer, songwriter. Did, did I miss anything? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, if I yeah. did, let me know. But okay, cool, I will. Troy Savon, welcome. Thanks for having me. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. By the way, I like the one thing I noticed when I when you first uh, when we first met is you have a very good uh, very good style, very good fit. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I thought you were gonna talk about my nails uh, for some reason. I was like, what? Good nail beds or because you were looking at my hands. You do take care of your nails. I do take care of my now nails. Now that I'm actually. looking close up, close up of that. Yeah. Um, so for people that don't know that might be watching this video for the first time, can you take us through your journey real quick? Because it's quite sure. an interesting one, very diverse. Um, sure. So yeah, I started singing um, when I was mm, probably like eight years old. Um, and that was like at singing lessons and stuff like that. And then um, just did it around my hometown in Perth in Australia. And then um, posted my first singing YouTube video when I was like 12. And um, basically just didn't stop posting YouTube videos since then. I posted like vlogs and singing videos and just like, you know, a bunch of different stuff and I did some acting somewhere in the middle there and then um, yeah I ended up getting signed to a record label when I was about to turn 18 and now I'm 20 and um, my album came out last year it's called Blue Neighborhood mm -hmm. heard, of, heard of that um, yeah. <laughs> how's it feel to be so old uh, you know, 20, 20 now yeah old. well I'm almost 21 which is <laughs> awesome <laughs> um, yeah for people, that, for people that don't know you're also uh, now you were born in South Africa is that right mm -hmm. and then you what you moved to Australia when you were yeah. really young when I was two yeah and you live there currently yep so you came all the way out here? Yeah, yeah. Far travels. This is really, really far away from me. Appreciate but it, man. No worries, of course. Um, for anyone that hasn't seen this vlog, it's hilarious. <laughs> like, I've been watching it for the past week, no lie. The one, oh, um, nice. you call your mom, you tell her that... All uh, oh, right, yeah, that yeah. I got a girl pregnant. Yeah, but at this point, I'm thinking when you, like, prank, when you prank your parents, they already know what to expect, right? They're already desensitized to what well, yeah. like, Troy's going to do. Also, I'm gay, and I've been, like, out to my mom since right. I was, like, 15, so she was just, like, it just didn't... She didn't buy it for one second. Which leads into my question. You decided to come out on mm -hmm. social media to your fans yeah um can, can you talk about that decision why you decided to do it that way or you know just maybe not you know some people decide not to you know tell anybody right um i think you know i felt like in my own personal life i decided to come out just because i didn't want to feel like i was you know hiding anything or anything like that you know this is like something that i um had not only kind of grown comfortable with as part of my you know identity but also just like um grown proud of you know what i mean it's it's for me it's nothing that i'm ashamed of in the slightest and so um i was just like why am i why am i hiding this so i told people in my personal life and then it got to the point where i'd been on youtube and been online for so long that um i really feel a very genuine connection with the people who who follow me online and the people who i talk to online and so um i felt kind of a similar feeling of just like why am i hiding this um and also you know when i was sort of like coming to terms with everything the place that i turned to was the internet for um you know for like advice and stuff like that and for coming out videos and things and so it just so happened that i had this big youtube audience and um kind of saw an opportunity to give back to that community yeah no i um it, it's so funny when you're talking about just like venting right venting on the internet mm -hmm. i some of your videos like that's exactly what you do right you're just talking about anything and i'm thinking to myself sometimes i think to myself like honestly should i even put that online you know right. are people gonna care mm -hmm. i mean after watching watching yourself i'm like i'm just gonna do it because <laughs> yeah. you're like you're like so random and i mean that in the best way possible yeah you talk about everything yeah whatever's on my mind yeah yeah you talked about uh lips uh is it kylie or kendall Kylie. Kylie. I get mixed up. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I love Photoshop, so I did yeah. like a, a Photoshop video um, of me Photoshopping like really big lips onto myself. So how many do, so with your busy schedule now, um, are you still doing these vlogs? Like, are you still able to do it consistently? Um, I try, but the honest answer is no, I haven't been able to do it as consistently as I was. Um, but, you know, it's still for me like a really... Um, valuable thing to me to be able to you know just like like you said say whatever's on my mind and and kind of connect with people in that way so i definitely you know still i i have my youtube channel still and still want to upkeep mm. that and still really really cherish it and um yeah it's just like harder to make the videos sometimes uh speaking of social media and whole you know the this whole realm online and everything like that i just want to share with you we have a digital department here at the radio station mm -hmm. and we have an opening um, oh, in the the, as a right. job? As a job. And I just want to, if the music thing doesn't work out, the vlogging. Sure. No, I'm being serious. No, thank you for letting me know. So just, is Michelle here? Okay. Well, cool. I'll let her know that you might be interested in the position. All right, awesome. Um, yeah, you got to fill out some paperwork. No, yeah, um, cool. no worries. Thank you. Ellen said on your performance that you are one of her, 
I love Ellen. So, I love Ellen. Yeah. Uh, you are one of her favorite artists, like right now, currently, mm -hmm. maybe of all time. What does that does that make you feel any type of way or? Definitely, yeah. I so I did the Ellen show like um, probably two weeks ago now, and right. um, I still can't believe that it happened <laughs> i yeah i don't know she i've been watching her tv show for so long and um i'm just such a huge fan of everything that she represents and and you know just everything that the show is and so yeah when i did it it was just like the most surreal day and she has very 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 pretty eyes yeah and they're very, like piercing super <sighs> super piercing and um yeah that's like pretty much all i've thought about since since then for the last two weeks is ellen's eyes <laughs> Say that again? That's the last thing you thought? <laughs> That's the, the, you can't get out of your mind? Yeah, no, just her piercing eyes. Wow. Yeah. That's really intense, Troy. Uh, <laughs> um, that, I thought you were incredible on that. Um, Thank you. You also did, the, you did Jimmy Fallon. Mm -hmm. uh, that, was, that was incredible. How, Thank you. Um, oh, man, like, you're like super mature, dude. Oh. Like, I just gotta, you know, I, I hate taking interviews like super serious, but like, <laughs> like inside I'm thinking, man, I'm watching interviews and stuff like that. What do you attribute that to? You're like super, you're probably one of the most mature people, artist wise, just people that I've ever met at the age of 20. Honestly. Oh, I, thanks. I, I mean, that, like, big compliment. Thank you. Um, I have no idea. I really have no idea. I'm, I hope I'm not, like, boring. You know no, what I mean? not at all, dude. No, I'm just saying your stage presence is just a. You know, you guys don't think so? Super mature. You're super like, mature. no, he's really immature. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, like. <laughs> Like you're just really good at what I, I don't know. I was just no, like, wow, thank this you kid so has, much. Thank you. You got it. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. It's all good. Uh, so Blue Neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, the album, mm -hmm. Youth, uh, the big song right now. Uh, we play it. Great song. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you want to talk about that real quick? Like talk yeah. about the music, you know, inspiration. What? Um, and you write all your, you write all your mu music, yeah. which is you know, let's be honest, rare. Right. Let's talk about that journey. Um. So yeah, I started. I. When I first got signed, I started kind of songwriting super seriously for the first time. I didn't really realize it, but I've sort of been songwriting like for a lot of my life just for fun, you know, like at home and stuff like that, recording little things into, I don't know, a tape recorder and stuff like that. But then um, I started only really seriously writing when I was probably like 16 or 17, and that's what kind of got me signed. And then um, since then, I it's just been like my favorite thing in the whole world to do. I, I really just love... Um, you know, it's like the best form of therapy for me. I, I love going in and just trying to make something that's really, really honest, but also really, really cool and interesting. And um, and so I started doing that when I first got signed and released an EP called TRXYE and then um, started working on more songs, not necessarily knowing whether it was going to be another EP or an album or what, and um, started just kind of writing about absolutely everything that was going on in my life. And I felt like the songs were such a step up. And then we released kind of like a teaser of the album um, last year in the form of like a six track EP. And then that EP went into went into the album Blue Neighborhood and it finally came out in December and um, yeah it's just like super super surreal and um, you know to kind of put yourself out there in that way it was it was scary for me a little bit but um, I just am so happy that I've done it and and now I get to sing the songs live and and see you know people's real life reactions to them and see them like you know cuddling with their loved one in the front row and it's just like it makes my life it's awesome I love that um, I think it's super rare just like you were saying to be super it's like you said, you were scared to, you know, kind of reveal everything about yourself online and things like that. That's obviously, I think, what makes you connect with the audience, man. Oh. That's why you have all these, you know, all these followers. Thank you. Just a guess. <laughs> <laughs> just, just kidding. Um, okay, so let's talk. Can we do this game? It's uh, 60. I call it the 60 second quickie. Sure. I'm going to ask you just random questions. Okay. You know, very, very safe questions. And you just uh, first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Troy Savon, you ready, sir? Yes, I am. Okay, who is your favorite teacher in high school and why? My favorite what in here? Your favorite high school, uh, your favorite teacher in high school. My favorite teacher in high school, um, Mr. Wilcock, because he taught Heath Ledger before he taught me. Okay. And I just thought that was cool. Good. Uh, what's uh, one luxury item that uh, you'd love to have, but you don't, uh, you don't have right now? Um, I would love more fancy clothes. I really, really, I like fancy clothes. Designer. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> who did you last argue with and why? Um, hmm. Probably my dad about something really, really silly. I have no idea. No? Yeah, he's on tour with me, so we're spending a lot of time together. Okay. Uh, who are you listening to right now? Um, right now, who am I listening to? I am super ashamed to say that I only just found Joni Mitchell the other day, mm. and so I'm like really, really lost in Joni Mitchell world. In one word, describe Kanye West. Um, awesome. Kim Kardashian. Interesting. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Uh, incredible. Donald Trump. 
the worst. <laughs> that's, that's two words. <laughs> I like that. Hey, r- real quick on the fashion thing, man. Um, I, isn't it true that you only had like one pair of jeans? You I, said in an interview you only one pair of jeans. You're wearing different jeans. Yeah. Sir. So after that interview, I went out and bought more jeans. You do you have a, f- a favorite brand? Because I love clothes too. The only ones that are skinny enough for me are the top man ones. Top man, okay. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I wear the, well, sometimes j- top shop, sometimes I wear the women's jeans because they're extra skinny. Have you ever been to Club Monaco? No, I haven't. Good stuff. It's kind of like top man, but cool. uh, I mean, it's along that same vein. I think you'd like it. Yeah, yeah. no, I need, I need super, super skinny, yeah. like spray on. It's a, no, it's a good look. <laughs> spray That's on. what That's they're funny. actually called, spray on skinny. I've never heard that term. Yeah. That's cool. I'm going to start using that. Yeah. Uh, okay, a few questions from the um, audience real quick. If you don't cool, mind. yeah. With Troy Savon right here, westernunion.com VIP lounge. This is from Jenny from Hercules. When you're having a bad day, Troy Savon, what uh, makes you feel at ease? What puts you at ease? Watching TV shows, I think, is like the, one of the only ways to really switch my brain off. I love it. Okay. And this is from Issa from Daily City. What is your favorite snack, Troy Savon? Um, I'd say bananas, probably. I don't know. I just feel like they're healthy and they're like good at any time of the day. Oh. Cool, thanks. <laughs> Jacob from Santa Rosa would like to know, why wasn't Swimming Pools put on the regular album? Um, just too many songs. Yeah, there was way too many songs, so um, we had to kind of cut back a little bit. Yeah. Last question. This is from Sandra. Sandra in San Jose. What's your favorite part of the tour? My favorite part of the tour is the shows, to be honest. Um, like, actually being on stage playing the shows. And then besides that, I... I'm starting to get used to being on the bus, which is really, really, really cool. Um, all the doors are like Star Trek doors, like and stuff like that. So it's very, very cool. <laughs> awesome. Are you on the bus? You're with the, your whole crew, I mm-hmm. assume? Yep. Awesome, man. Sleeping in bunks and stuff. Yeah, no, I'd, that sounds fun. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, very cool, dude. Well, uh, the album is Blue Neighborhood. Get it on iTunes. Obviously, if you don't follow him, which I'm sure you do, but in case you don't, your social media handles are? Um, just at Troy Sivan on everything. T R O Y E S I V A N. You're a gentleman, sir. Appreciate the time. Thank man. you so much for having me. Good guy. Support this guy. Thanks. Troy Sivan. Make some noise, Thanks man. Thanks for watching. WestonUnion.com VIP Lounge with Wild949. Oh, last question. I didn't forget. She wants to know if you can dab. If I can. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I don't even know really what it is. You'd show me fat. Isn't it just like something like that? I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can do anything and it's going to be awesome, okay? Really? Yes, <laughs> truly. I feel, yeah, thank you. Awesome.